See, the only power the devil has over you is the power he convinces you that you don't have. For those of you who think the beatbox has gone too far. Mr. Batch here, what's going on, family? Uh, the reason I'm going to drop this one on y'all today because it's a concern of mine just like as it would be a concern of yours. Now, I've got the latest issue of the Village Voice here, and they're talking about a, they had reopened a case due to the fact that a judge had found that there was bias. Yes, a black lady was murdered in uh, Brooklyn County uh, several years ago, and her two abductors and torturers were convicted of the crime. But what happened was uh, this mother of uh, this young lady went to the cops, said her daughter was missing, and they didn't want to file a report. At the same time, a very prominent uh, wife of some doctor in the Upper East Side of Manhattan, or the West Side, but they were from Manhattan, and uh, she went missing along with her dog. So the cops sent out a full task force. They had press conference and everything, and they were looking for the lady. And uh, they subsequently found that lady. Unfortunately, uh, they found her in the river floating. They don't know whether she was pushed, jumped, or whatever, but they don't have a clue about that. But what I'm talking about is that you can chast you can't chastise your kid, but the government can kill him. A la Sean Bell, a la this young lady, Miss Carmichael. I, I got the article around here someplace. Hold on a second, folks. Hold on, I got you. I got you. I got you. All right, I want to make sure I get my information right so when you guys get ready to get online and you get to check it out. Uh, what happened is, is I got it out of the latest edition of the Village Voice and uh, that was of May 17th through the 13th and the title, is, the article is entitled Police Blew Off a Whipping, Win, Missing Woman Case. She was murdered and now the case has been reopened under racial bias grounds. Yeah, that's right because the cops didn't want to take the complaint from the lady because they said uh, she was 21 and she probably ran off with a boyfriend. But that's always the case when it comes to black people. Just like how you've seen just recently over the last couple of weeks, uh, three gentlemen were pulled from their car and severely beaten by the police, a la Rodney King. Now, out in uh, Pennsylvania, in that area of Philadelphia, there was a police officer murdered some, t some weeks ago. So I guess any black person is going to get retaliated on when it comes to something like this. Sean Bell, 50 bullets. The cops was acquitted. And this goes on and on. Eleanor Bumpers. Uh, Amadou Diallo, Patrick Doorsman, you know, everybody like this. And, of course, you know how it goes like this. Let me, let me sign off by giving you this. Just like I said earlier, you can't chastise your kid, but the authorities can murder them. Michael Vick is in jail for murdering dogs. They convicted him of murdering dogs. At the same time that he was convicted, there was a trial in Florida about a young man who went to a military style camp and he was beaten severely by the camp counselors who happened to be white and this young man was black and they were also acquitted so hey you know that tells me right there america values a animal's life more than it does value the life of a black person you know something you think about it you do the research the numbers and the facts are there it's no bias thing. It ain't no prejudice thing. The numbers, the articles are there. Yo, peace. See, the only power the devil has over you is the power he convinces you that you don't have. For those of you who think the beatbox has gone too far.